How are the Talmberg folk getting on? Is it peaceful here? It's so quiet here, yeah? someone will soon end up swinging from the gibbet. Good luck to you. Why, hello everybody. Welcome back to a little bit more Kingdom Come with Hardcore Henry, of course. And we're, we're out here in the stables out here in Neuenhof because why not? There's one quest that always annoyed the heck out of me. And, um... I wanted to get it done. It's a, it's a nice little race quest. I think a few people have done it before. So let's get this thing going, shall we? Do you need a hand with anything around here? I certainly do. Our best customer was Sir Divish of Talmberg. He paid handsomely for our horses. But now my husband is... Now he's been murdered. His lordship has stopped buying. I don't know really. But maybe you could find out? Take our dabbled grey and show him to his lordship. He's a fine steed, a bit of a devil, but fast as the wind. That ought to convince Sir Divish. All right, I'll go and ask Sir Divish. Maybe I can find out what's going on. Yeah, there you go. You can sit here and be very busy sewing the exact same thing. Um, good job. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why he doesn't want to buy from you anymore, but um, you said you're going to send your finest horse. Uh, let's see. Your finest horse. Look at this. It's not even... Like, I bought... Th I bought my horse from you, and you couldn't just send him this? No wonder he doesn't want to buy from you anymore. God, and just... Just see how slow this horse is. You're gonna make me ride along with this horse? This is embarrassing. Even for you. Because all we gotta do is deliver this horse to its area, and then... We gotta talk to Sir Divish about the horse and all that good stuff. This one is from Noy. Oh God! Take good care of him for me. Who did I say that to? And also, you just plopped it in there. What a terrible stable master! God. All right, whatever else. All right, Sir Divish, where are you? Are you praying again? Praying that I stay away from you? My lord, I bring greetings from Smill's widow Zora. Mistress of the Neuhof Stud Farm. She sends her respects and would like to ask, if you don't mind, why you stopped buying horses from her. I take my horses from Usitz now. It's no reflection on Zora or her people, but it was clear to me after the tragedy at Neuhof that the stud farm would never recover. Wouldn't it be worth at least having a look at her horses? Perhaps you're right, but it all sounds rather dull. We'll hold a horse race, and whoever's horse fares better, that's who we'll buy from. All right, well, cool. So we just get forced into doing a horse race. Oh, jeez, don't you love that? Let's go do this horse race thing, because, um... Yeah, the horse race thing is rather annoying. It's frustrating, if you want to say. Yep, so you can wait here around noon. No one else is coming. Uh, sorry, gentlemen, I don't know how to put this, um... You know, it's supposed to be noon for a horse race, and I don't see anyone. Hmm. It failed? What? Imagine that. <laughs> well, at least you have a bit of respect. What's the trouble, my lord? They didn't come. Not a one. What's the meaning of this? Well, now you won't even have to race. You've won. <laughs> Inform Zora that I'll buy my horses from Neuholm. <laughs> oh jeez, and I forgot I was riding my horse and not their horse. So, um Yeah. Good job. Boys are at. You guys just spawning out of nowhere, huh? Who are you? Hey, who's that? For God's sake, Christ. stop that. Have you gone mad? Nope. Wait, you think you're gonna run? Oh, you think you can get away with this. You got nice clothes on. Come back here. That'll show you for wanting to race with me. So, yeah, you can basically murder them before they come into existence here. Um, or into the town. So they spawn up here around 4.30? And I would loot you, but you're so comfortable here that I might just leave you there. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna loot you. Yoink. Why not? There you go. You look rather dapper there. 
All right, well, let's go wait until the morning, because, um... God, freaking devil horse. The bodies despawn, but you can keep the horses now. So they're all terrible horses. So if you want to see, um... If you want to see what you're riding against, you're... Awful. Awful. Just plain awful. And... Terrible. I, yeah, look at this. Um, your horse, like, you look at that. You got, like, maybe two speed on him. And that's being generous, so... Yeah. Alright, let's uh, go back and tell her the good news that she yeah. won the race. Um, won't say how the race got won, but that's fine. She doesn't need to know. Alright, Zora, I'm back with your stupid horse. Take it back. This thing sucks. I don't like it. That race, it was quite something. Mother of God, what am I to do? Alas, you'll need to begin anew. Because Sir Divish wants to buy your horses. Thank you, lad. But how can I ever pay you back? Wait, I've got it. You'll get the best saddle to be had in the whole province. Smil had it made in Kutenberg. Don't then forget about Kutenberg. Yay! I got a noble saddle and this horse is gone from existence. Whatever else. So yeah, that's an easy way you can kind of complete the Sports of King real easy. They don't ask questions what happened to the other riders, so, um... Well, it's always good fun to have extra horses all around, so I guess you horsies just live here permanently now, so... Welcome to Townburg, I guess, or outskirts of Townburg. So we win a horse race and we get to keep four horses. What a prize! Uh, you know, the new residents of Townburg. You know, I, I might have murdered a few guards that might, you know, even out the things, but, um... Uh, Anyways, yeah, I think there's something else we should probably do here yeah. in Townburg, because why the bloody hell not? Master Huntsman, is there any work for me here? You're that Scullet's lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. We've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, we've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place, but no sign of the bastards who put them there. Shouldn't you be dealing with the poachers yourself? I should, I should. That's clear enough. As soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for your help, lad. Alright, thank you, Master Hudspin. You're quite useful. Basically, you hire out other people to do your job. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, so we gotta go around. We gotta find out who the poacher is. It says we can go to the end the glade, but... Uh, I don't want to go there right now. Um, <laughs> I don't think Andrew's going to <laughs> want to talk to me. So let's go talk to some random people. What do you want from me? Yeah, I want you to give me a little less lip. I heard you've got a poaching problem in the woods around here. In the woods and out of them. Not long back, the bastards hung a deer's head on the huntsman's house. Hmm. That's pretty brazen of them. Do you think it was someone local? I really don't know. All sorts of things get said. Hannikin hairs back if you listen to some, and others are going on about Tom of the Baths. I swear blind he's got his fingers in it. Tell me something about Hannikin Hare. He used to be Master Huntsman here a while back. But then Nicholas got him accused of a murder, and the Hare had to flee. It cost him the Huntsman's rank, and Margaret, too. Oh, good lord. People do like to prattle on. Hey, look at this. Is this Margaret? No, oh, how's it going, Margaret? What are you here for? I don't like the way you, uh, said that. I'd like to ask you about Hannikin Hare. I'm not saying a word, you rat. It's none of your bloody business. Oh, oh. Just calm down. Very well. You're right. And what would you like to know about Hare? How were things between you and Hare back then? It's nothing between us. Hannikin Hare impressed my father with all his talk of noble blood. But I couldn't stand him. And I didn't want to marry him. And then it made no odds after he ran away. That's the thing, you gotta like answer Henry <laughs> truthfully or he loses his temper. <laughs> Blacksmith Betty? Who the heck are you? What do you want from me now? Stop trying to wriggle out of it. Do you realize who I am? Um, not really. But you know who Radzig Cobbler is, right? Of course. I'm his right-hand man, and I'm helping the huntsmen catch the poachers. So, I'm not someone you should be messing around. Oh, I didn't know that. That's all I need. Thanks. 
I love you, Blacksmith Betty. I need to ask you something about the poachers. What? Me? Why me, for Christ's sake? Now listen up, laddie. I don't have time for your nonsense. This whole escapade stinks of poaching a mile off. So you better start talking. But I'm not a poacher. If you don't talk, the word might get round that you've got broken legs. Understand? But I haven't done anything. Then you have nothing to fear if you tell me what happened. All right. Yes. There was venison being eaten. But I didn't bring it. Thomas brought that there. All right, very good. All right, Tomo Bass, we gotta talk. You keep uh, shaking me off, and I'm tired of you. Tomo Bass, my boy, let's go talk. Um, I heard you were yelling in the tavern that you were off to hunt some venison. Look here, I don't know who you are, but you should watch your mouth. Jake Piper reckons you were at that feast. I wasn't. Right, that's it. Either you tell me the whole truth now, or I swear to God I'll knock it out of you. Fine. Fine. He's one of the charcoal men. I've seen him taking the charcoal to the forge. His name is... Radan. Charcoal burners. Freaking charcoal burners. All right. All right. That's, that's good. Um, freaking charcoal burners. To hell with the charcoal burners. All right. <laughs> I... We had, <laughs> we had run-ins with them, <laughs> I yeah. knew a charcoal burner, I could smell it. Well, 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 yeah. boys, guess who's back? Um, oh, you guys are all back and smelling great, huh? We got things to talk about, where, where's Radon? Yeah, yeah, I don't trust any of you guys, you're lucky I let you live. Hey, Radon, how's it going? Me and you gotta talk. A fellow from Talonborough claims he saw you poaching. What do you have to say about that? <clears throat> Stop trying to wriggle out of it. I know very well you're a poacher. I'm no poacher. No, of course not. You're the Pope in disguise. What? All right. But you know where I can find them, don't you? Aye. And where is that? The clearing. They meet in a clearing. They camp there. And where is the clearing? A short walk from here. Oh, Lord. A short walk where? Do you know how many clearings there are in these woods? No, sorry, I don't know. Oh my god. Where is the clearing they camp in? How do I get there? Along the trail, from the huntsman's lodge. Go into the wood by the big broken tree, eastward. Freaking charcoal burners. Yeah, get out of here. I found out where those poachers meet. Well, that's at least one good bit of news. So tell me, where is it? In fact, not all that far from here. In a glade, not far from your lodge. I see. They chose that place to mock me. I might have known. But now we can finally nab them, right? We can. Go to the castle and tell Captain Robard to send some men with you. Wait, you're not coming? I have a lot of work to do. <sighs> of course you do. What a freaking coward. God. Yeah. You know... Yeah. If you're gonna take a couple guards with you, you should come along. Just because you're naked doesn't mean you can't come along, brother. Yeah. Uh. Oh god, not again. <laughs> oh god, look at that. Anakin Hare of Zalush. I arrest you in the name of Lord Divish of Talmberg. The Master Huntsman is not coming? The Master Huntsman arrests poachers, not murders. Will you come quietly? What's Henry You're doing? <laughs> He's just like standing in the middle of the fight. <laughs> All right. Well, I never what's come pig turns up willingly. Yeah, get back over here. <laughs> You're not gonna win against Henry. Don't do this to me. Ah, jeez, that was just too easy. Oh, look at that. You didn't want to even go over here to uh, deal with these guys, huh? God, freaking coward. Here. I got hair. And where is he? I last saw him lying down in the forest. Are you saying you killed him? He would have gone to the gallows anyhow. It's his, all right. <laughs> hard to believe the legendary Hanukkah hair is gone to his maker. Not anyway, that hard. I do know how to show my gratitude. Here's your reward. And stop by any time you need to. You'll always find work here. Thanks. 
200 Groshen? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's all I get for this? And there's no work here? Oh, hell no. No, oh, we're gonna have to use our time manipulation powers on this one. Come back here. You know you can't run from Henry. I mean, you can, but I don't know um, what you're supposed to do, so... Oh, why are you running? You know you ain't getting away with this. Hold on. I'm asking you to hear me out. Of course I'll hear you out. Who are you, anyway? Let me introduce myself. My name is Hanukin Hare of Zalush. I was falsely accused of murder. Henry of Lipa visited Talmberg. And the morning after the banquet in his honor, one of his men was found dead. Do you know who did kill the man? No. He was found in a ditch with his neck broken. He could have tripped and fallen all on his own. Yeah, he could have just tripped and fallen over and died like that. I mean, it happens all the time. I mean, Henry, Henry knows all about that. <laughs> This is one of the most insane stories I've heard lately. So, what are you up to? Working out how to get Nicholas's confession. And how would you do that exactly? Simple. I'll have him sign it. I've had the priest in Janowitz write me up a parchment. When Nicholas signs it, he'll admit to everything written down there. How do you want to force him to do that? He won't have a choice, or rather he will have, between his wife Margaret and the job of huntsman. It's plain enough. We'll kidnap Margaret. That's to say you'll kidnap Margaret while I distract Nicholas. If he wants to see her again, he won't have any choice. And I meant to kidnap his wife while he's gone. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Don't get too excited. Margaret isn't to be harmed. Understand? So, Margaret shouldn't be hurt. Oh no, we sh can't hurt Margaret, can we? No, no, you... You win! Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Shouldn't hurt Margaret. Get out of here. Good work, Henry. Now we have to act fast and sort out Nicholas. Take this confession. Go to Nicholas and make him sign it before you tell him where Margaret is. Here you are. What's going on? What's what's the naked man and naked man doing? Get over here. Have you seen my wife, Margaret? I'm sure something must have happened to her. I can't find her anywhere. It makes no odds. Just listen to me. What, you horson? Tell me where she is right now or you'll rue the day. Yeah, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Sign this parchment here and I'll tell you what you want to know. There. Now tell me where my wife is. There's an old mine gallery a little to the south of here. Margaret is in there, alive and well. I certainly hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. Can I talk to you again? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you still train me, huh? Can you teach? Certainly. I'm <laughs> All right. In more All right. Thank you. You're gonna need some money for the road, so there we go. We'll just do some training, I guess. So, have you got it? It's done. He signed it. Voluntarily. Yes. More or less. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Why'd you even ask me? You just send me here. <laughs> Anakin Hare. I never expected to see you again. It was the will of God that I returned. Perhaps. But will you read this first? Henry here is my witness that your master huntsman Nicholas signed it himself. This ought to change their minds. Hmm. It might. So. What's to be done with you now? Poaching? And kidnapping the Master Huntsman's wife. You see my difficulty. I know. I can't stay here. It's enough to know my name is cleared. I'll have a letter drawn up to recommend you to the service of Sir Vincent at Village Castle. Thank you, sir. But if Nicholas has vanished and sending you to Velish, then who's going to be my master hunter here? There's one obvious candidate. Henry here. Help me bring Nicholas to justice. And he's no disgrace as a hunter. Really? 
Well, what of it, young man? It will be an honor, sir. Good, good. Then I hereby name you Master Huntsman at Talmberg Castle. My Chamberlain will tell you more about your new responsibilities. Yay! Good luck to you, Hannigan. Thank you, Henry. I could never have managed it without you. God willing, we'll meet again one day. Yep, and as Master Huntsman, I've already brought you a cumin here. Um, well, alright. How dare you refuse my service? What about the mill? God, I like how everyone just disappears and says, Yeah, you know what, it's fine. He brought just Yay! Henry becomes the Master Huntsman. And we get a free house. Not 200 Groschen. Good God. So, yeah, that's, that's a much better outcome, I must say. So, this is... Oh, good news. Good news. Yeah, so it's not bad. Look at this. We get a whole new crib. Everything belongs to us. It's great. Even though I already technically stolen everything out of here, so... Oh, look. They actually got a pointy green hat, arrows, a crappy bow. All right, fine. Um, it's the thought that counts. But all this stuff belongs to me. It's no longer stolen. Yay! Oh, yeah, and it's actually all my chest of <laughs> stolen goods. <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll ignore that one. That, that's perfectly fine. So we even get this pitcher. Oh, yes. And we even get a pot to eat from. Oh, yes. No more bunking with Theresa. So, yeah. Oh, we even get... Yeah, we even get this chest, too. Yeah. I didn't realize that. We get wolf fang and everything else. All right. Um, Cool. And a cabbage? Man, this is... Henry's looking up and everything. Do we actually get the... What, they slept down here in this crappy bedroom? They slept here? No wonder she was unhappy. You guys were master huntsmen. Where's your real bed? Oh. Well, I think that's enough for now. We got a brand new house. Looks fantastic. A new bed that we'll probably never use because it's terrible. Yeah, I think we did enough for today. Um, I think the citizens of Talberg would like to be rid of us, <laughs> so it's all great. But I mean, we also get to keep the horses too. They never get to go away. Look at this. They're permanent members. This is why I love doing this mission this way, because you get to keep free horses. Yay! <laughs> so there we go. We did a lot to... Um, make Townberg a better place. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you around next time. Yeah. Have a good one and goodbye. Yeah. Doom oh god, I, I love Townberg. Especially because of these guys here. Please, please, please anyone. They're there. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> Oh my god, I shot the guy when I was trying to get off the horse. <laughs> what is it? Oh my god. That's fine, and having trouble getting up there? I hope Sir Divish didn't make the wrong decision about buying his horses from you. What are you doing there? Why do you got a bow and a sword there? I don't think that's how this works. I'm trying to commit mass murder and you're being dumb. <laughs> Why is this? Why is this a thing? I can't kill you. <laughs> Get out of my way. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Alright, you're coming with me, I guess. I'm trying something out. God, this guy. <laughs> Get a look at this. <laughs> hey, bucko. Get a load of this lady. <laughs> Guy, can you Has get out? Happened? Oh, my God. Can you get out of there? Oh, God. The ground Somebody is not... Help! Yeah. Over here. Quick. Alarm. Let's see. <laughs> He's not! Oh my god! <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Yeah, maybe. I mean, there's... <laughs> Stop it! It tickles. <laughs> there you 
you go. Get out of my way. What's the matter? Come on! I know. <laughs> you think these guys could last longer? All right, continue on. I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh.